way I see it, there's always a story to be told, right? And there's always some kind of experience and there's always, you know, it's when you create a character, when you create a story, it's a reflection of who you are on the inside. And if you're not careful, you can start to lose sight of that person that you are. to explain but like I make YouTube videos with my friends um, comedy sketches you know just invented a new character who has a disease which makes him puke whipped cream up every 4 minutes and 36 seconds wow that's genius that's the exact same kind of thing I used to do you used to make videos like that too? oh all the time I had a whole catalog of characters that just always just pulled them out and we would do stupid crazy stuff with them I had this guy who was named the Allele guy. He had this, this big blue suit and he always he had this little cup. Everyone knew it was water the whole time, but but he always he was obsessed with he he insisted it was called Allele. There's there's this guy, he had a he had a blue cape and mask, uh, hero boy. And he was like he, he protected the candy store because this guy named Fat Man tried to rob it. You know? <laughs> Are they still online? Yeah. Yeah, you wanna see him? Is that even a question? Here, I'll hold up for you. Yeah, it's called Squam Ham. Huh. Squam ham. For some reason, I expected like a more dramatic channel name. Dude, it's just like, I stopped making these videos. for thought, but what do you think you're missing? That part of me is dead, and it has been for a long time. Okay, it's not every day your fictional comedy characters you made up out of thin air when you were 12 manifest into reality to haunt you for not making videos about them anymore. I've been so ashamed of it. I keep shutting it away. Look at me. I'm just a washed out, nothing what I was. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I made a pretty good childhood for myself, didn't I? 